Culture Buzz Shalom. I am Tali. This I'm is Tal. Tal. And that is Ronnie. <laughs> and we're here in Tal's uh, place. We're going to have a special concert because uh, Tal and I are going to Spain to record an album in two weeks. And uh, Tal is going to tell you a little bit about this project. Um, so Tali and I, we met at, 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 in Israel, but we became very good friends in Boston. Uh, where we study in Berkeley, and Ronnie is studying with us. And in Boston, we started to play together a lot, and uh, one of our teachers, Javier Limon, uh, invited us to, uh, to play in his album, and we started to play one song, and then it became uh, two songs, and then it just became, we were playing in the album, and we wrote uh, arrangements, and it was a lot of fun. And it, it was with uh, a very uh, unique instruments. Only here uh, is a harmonica player. Tali plays the recorder, and I play the piano. And in, in Javier's album, there were uh, also a, a cello player, a violin, from Palestine. Yeah, from Palestine, a violin player from Jordan. Um, and, uh, Canoon, canoon player, also from Palestine, yeah. and a very special uh, um, soprano saxophone player from Spain. So it's really like um, just everything together combined. It's really unique, and uh, the music was uh, Javier Limon's music, and we did a lot of arrangements. And now we're doing a whole other project. Uh, after this experience with uh, Javier, uh, he invited uh, Tal and I uh, to record our own album, which will be produced by him. And uh, it will be only piano and recorders, and that's it. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll go crazy and sing or something. <laughs> and we're just uh, exploring the boundaries of only piano and recorder. Uh, which is uh, something that is actually new for both of us. Yeah, it's challenging. Why is it challenging, Tal? Uh, I think because it's only <laughs> two instruments. Uh, you, need to f you need to be very creative with the sound. I mean, we're trying to explore it and see with what different textures. Yeah, textures we can find. Yeah. And uh, also, it actually wasn't our idea to do all this. Uh, we used to play together in... Uh, I called Tal to accompany me in my recital, and she called me to play with her in her recital, and like anything in Berkeley that we needed to play in, any for, for courses or for recitals, we always played together. Um, so we never actually put ourselves in this situation that it's only us without the rhythm section, without anybody else, and nobody is telling us what we have to do. So uh, it's it's really difficult, but it's really really fun, yeah. and. Uh, uh, today in this concert, we are actually having Ronnie, which we already told about. He's an absolutely amazing harmonica player and one of my favorite people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's also among uh, us uh, unconventional uh, uh, instrument players. Uh, how do you feel about it, Ronnie? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think me and Tali have a lot in common. Because we both play unconventional, you can say unconventional instrument, and we both in, in this big uh, school, we kind of different a bit. And uh, yeah, I, I try to look to look at myself as just any other any other um, woodwind player or any other instrument player, and uh, not to give myself a break. I, I guess you too, obviously, because mm -hmm. Tali played the recorder like. Like it's and you know like it's she can do anything so it's um, I I guess yeah I guess the same. <laughs> <laughs> um, so else yeah. You, you want to tell about Javier a little? About Javier? Yeah. Um, he's a very uh, interesting uh, person to work with. He's very uh, open. Open. Very <laughs> open. Um, and he can change his mind. I think that what, if something happened at the specific moment that he is there and he likes it, he goes with it all the way. And, and it can be very, uh, like every moment something else can happen. Yeah, he, I think he never dislikes anything like from our work together. It was always 
really good things and he had like he changes his mind between one good thing to another good thing. Mm -hmm. So everything is in a very, very positive and enthusiastic environment. It's amazing. Yeah. Also, like uh, I remember when he called us to help in the mix, he said, I never know what to do because so this sounds good, but another thing also sounds good, and you can find the like the quality in, in everything. Yeah. And it's so inspiring to work with somebody like that. And it just, I, I feel how I'm so much more creative around him than I'm usually like alone with my insecurities. He's, he just brings the best of everybody who works with yeah. him. It's amazing. Really good vibe. Yeah. Most of the time he speaks Spanish so we don't know what's going on. Yeah. Like with the crew when we're like trying to <laughs> catch words but we're actually learning. Yeah your Spanish is getting better, right? right? Yeah. yeah. yeah we know a lot so. of curse <laughs> words. Yeah we yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Yes. And uh, yeah, so uh, our time is up. <laughs> thank you for joining us thank you. in the Culture Buzz. Thank you so much. Aviad, thank you. Shalom. <laughs>